Thank you for visiting Utique Bridal. This is part one of three lace capelet tutorials. And I would like to thank Fabric Wholesale Direct for being our sponsor. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the paper pattern for the lace capelet. So here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. Throughout the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make four custom measurements. You will be measuring the capelet length, the neck width, the shoulder width, and also the capelet width. For the first step, I'm going to draw a straight line down one end of the sheet of paper. The purpose of this is just to have a starting point. Next, I'm going to move the ruler a half inch over and draw a line parallel to the first one. This is going to be your seam allowance. Next, we're going to get the length of the capelet by measuring where the shoulder and neck meets all the way down to your um, elbow. Mine measured at 14 inches. So we're going to take the ruler and measure down 14 inches and mark. Then you're going to draw a straight line starting at your mark all the way down the paper. Next, you're going to start from the hollow of your neck and then measure out to where your shoulder and neck meets. Then add a half inch. Mine comes out to be three and a half inches. So starting from the second line, I'm going to mark at three and a half inches. Next, I'm going to get the shoulder width by starting at the base of the neck all the way out to where my shoulder ends. Mine measure four inches. So I'm just going to slide the ruler up and measure four inches and mark. So next I'm just going to draw straight lines across at the neck width and the shoulder width. Now starting at the bottom of the paper I'm going to mark at two and a quarter inches and this is going to be the front scoop neck. So I'm going to create a box by drawing a line up to the neck width and then drawing the scoop of the neck. Next at the shoulder width mark you're just going to mark two inches down from it then draw a curve up to the neck width. And this will be your shoulder curve. With your arm out, we're going to take the custom width measurement. You're going to start at the center of your body and then measure out to your elbow. My measurement came out to be 14 and a half inches. So I'm going to line up the ruler at the second line and mark at 14 and a half inches. And then draw a straight line down to the hem of the pattern. Now complete the curve by drawing a line all the way down to the corner of the pattern. Don't worry too much about the perfect curve since we're going to do fitting and alterations in part two of the tutorials. Next we're going to make the markings for the half inch seam allowance. After you complete all the markings, just draw one continuous line along the side for the seam allowance. Connect the next scoop as well. Now take a marker and write front at the neckline. Now from the second line, you're going to mark one inch down for the back neck. Next, connect the mark by drawing a curve, and then write back to label it. With the marker, just define the front and back neck scoops, and then also define the outside curve line, as well as the hemline. Finally, cut all the way around the dark lines, and you will have the paper pattern. However, we're going to cut the back neck scoop and then just lay that aside and we'll be using it later in the tutorial. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. Don't forget to use the coupon code UTIQUEBRIDAL to get $5 off your purchase of $35 or more while shopping at Fabric Wholesale Direct. To create the continuous bias tape, please click the video labeled part two. To view the sewing and cutting of the lace, please click on the video labeled part three. If you would like to view this tutorial again, please click on the image.